each tribe is unique. Each tribe has their own language. Um, they have their own system of doing things. They have their own ceremonies. Um, we have our own way of communicating. Our symbols are different. Each tribe has their own colors. They have their own way of um, of living, basically, from the plains to the East Coast tribes. The, the clothing was different. The everything that we did was was different. The the type of clothing, the hairstyles, the dress. Like men and women have their own language, have their own way of addressing their mom and uh, the like the brothers and sisters and cousins. The men say words different than the women do. Um, and in that's I guess all this stuff is just the top layer of how intricate each system is, each native tribe, each native tongue, each everybody has their own way of doing things. And some things are meant for people to learn about and some things are meant to just, they belong to that medicine man, they belong to just whoever holds, you know, that, um, what would be the word? Uh, like that honor to be carrying it on, um, unless it's given to somebody else, then then they're able to to share it with people. Like like right now, my grandma always taught me that we need to. Well, actually, in my my adopted dad too, Bob Forstar, he's more into we need to teach other people our cultures now, because a long time ago we used to just tell people what they wanted to hear because we didn't want to be hounded anymore. You know, we had to survive and struggle, the hardships, famines, diseases, and everything just to get food. Food was kept from us when we were put on reservations. So now, I think it's important for us and our grandkids, my kids and our grandkids, to learn, and, and for other cultures to learn about our culture so we can break those stereotypes, so we can overcome a lot of the negative and oppression and depression that we faced for a lot of years, like the high school mascots and NFL and NBA mascots. From what I understand is they take this generalization of the Plains tribes with how the Plains tribe style of clothing and everything is, and like the Florida Seminoles, they, to me it looks, if I was a Plains tribe, which I am, and I was looking at it, you would think that the Florida Seminoles were part of the Plains, and they're not. They were individual, they were separate, they had their own way of living and dressing. So, you know, just, just little things that can stand out to us that other tribes don't know about. They stereotype us, they make us all look that way when we all don't, we're all unique. You know, from Alaska all the way down to Mexico. <laughs>